Hello students, today you're going to put your Google presentation to your blog. If you did a Prezi, uh, there's a video on the, pre um, on the blog about seven or eight agendas from now showing you how to do that. But um, if you're doing the Google presentation, first thing you do is find your Google presentation, log on to your email and then click on the link or find it on your drive. Once you're at your presentation, you click on File and then go click on Publish to the Web. Once you're here, you click on presentation size. This is how big it's going to be on your blog. Click on small. You can drag this box, make it a little bit bigger here. So you can see, you can if you make it large, it's going to not fit in your blog. Medium might fit, but small will fit for sure. It kind of moves slides by itself. And there's no way to turn that off. So just click on every 15 seconds. And then the person that's seeing it, because students are going to see it, and then also answer questions you're going to make up, they get to uh, change the slide if they want, or it will change by itself. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, click with uh, the mouse pad, highlight all the words, and then with two fingers, click on the mouse pad, copy. You can leave it open, and then go to your blog. So let me go to my blog here, and I'll show you how do you get to this blog menu. If your blog is on simple, and, it, and if you did and I see it, I'm going to have to walk up to you and help you change it. Or the best thing about into your Gmail, like I have your blog through there too. I have your blog address written down as well. Anyways. Once you make it to this uh, new page, I want you to write three questions. Remember that make the little bigger if you want it. Write three questions about your presentation. When students see presentation, can uh, answer these review. Then you're going to create a Google document, a Google form reader, and you'll see answers to these. But for now, just create three questions about your presentation. I will do one for you. What was alternative energy presentation on? So students have to be paying attention. Is it nuclear? Is it wind? So on. Create a poll of three. You can create up to five if you want, if you're feeling creative, but three is the minimum. Once have you have your three, and really try to think of three questions that are really going to ask the students to pay attention as they see your, blo uh, your blog and your presentation, go to uh, skip one more time. Make sure this little line is here. It's very important that it is. Go to HTML, and remember, if this is too fast, rewind the video, or open it side by side with what you're doing, so you can like try it, watch the video, try it, and watch the video. Where it says span here, click on the mouse pointer so it moves to the arrow there, and then click about three times and to see it's down there. Then with two fingers, paste it. If you did it this way should work. Let's try. Go to publish. Then go to view blog to see if it worked. So here's my blog. Let's see if my Google presentation is on here. I'm going to scroll down. Those are my three questions. And there is my Google presentation embedded into my blog. So, as a student, you see the presentation, see what the students have to pay attention to as they're seeing the presentation, and then start the slideshow on their own. You make it full screen if you want. Okay, if you need to change or always edit a post, this little pencil down here is what you click to change the post or to uh, fix anything that needs to be fixed. That is the end of this video. Remember, watch it again if you need to, or you can rewind it. Um, and that is the end of this video. Make sure you post your Google presentation to your blog. Goodbye.